and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. We have Golgari Dreadhorde for a donation deck to kick off this Tuesday afternoon for us. And while it, it has like a lot of like the core pieces from the other Dreadhorde decks that you usually see, we got some spicy ones in here. So as you see with our main deck, we got three copies of Under Realm Lich. And J. Jack Jr. donated for this deck, is a big fan of Under Realm Lich. Um, so this card uh, says, if you would draw a card instead, you look at the top three cards of your library, then you put one into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. So every time we would draw a card, we can go find that Wild Growth Walker or go find uh, the Explore creature, you know, something like that, like whatever we need, you know, go go look for Command the Dread Horde, put the other stuff into the graveyard. Um, so pretty sweet one here. I think this could work out pretty well with the Command the Dread Horde. Uh, one other cool thing is about our sideboard. We have three copies of Lurking Chupacabra. So every time we explore, we give our a creature and opponent controls minus two, minus two. So against opposing green decks, like where we're both going to have a bunch of creatures, we're, we want this Lurking Chupacabra to hopefully uh, kill a lot of things. And this card in particular, of course, works really, really well with Command the Dread Horde because you know how sometimes you play a command, you get a bunch of Explore creatures in, you get a bunch of Explore triggers. Well, if you're getting a bunch of Explore triggers at one time, having a Lurking Chupacabra could just wipe their board, be like a one-sided Masker Girl. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly why we only have three of, like maybe, no, we have four Overgrown Tombs and Woodland Cemeteries. I was going to say, maybe, maybe j Jack doesn't, uh, believe in a four of a card. Um, but I guess that's kind of the way to fit everything in, I suppose, is by shaving some. So yeah, we just got threes kind of across the board here, except for the two Vraskas. So that's, that's kind of neat too. We just get to play the three of deck. And even our sideboard, we got four three ofs. <laughs> so pretty sweet one there too. All right, so that's our deck. Uh, let's give it a try and see how it goes. So with these donation decks, of course, like always, we're heading on over to the traditional constructed queue over here. Okay. Yeah, so we are eight sub goals away from the next sub battle stream. But you know what I was thinking about doing, Eisen F? I've been thinking about doing this. Is maybe just do it where. Just change it. So the sub battle stream is like the same time, the same weekend every month. Maybe just do it like once a month, the same weekend. And. So for that, I was honestly kind of thinking of like maybe doing it this Saturday and doing it just the the last Saturday of the month being a blue-white deck, Blink being the sub-battle stream, and then using the sub-goals towards doing a 12-hour stream. So, you know, if we hit enough sub-goals, um, then we do a 12-hour stream. And then just at every month, last Saturday of the month is a battle day. My creations are things of beauty. What do y'all think of that? That's what I was kind of, you know, I've been thinking about what to do. With that. Well, trophy... Trophy's not bad. Like, Trophy could be good against, like, a Teferi. Like, if they have, like, a, a board wipe and then play a Teferi. I'm gonna keep it. I will craft your demise. Yeah, and then that makes it real e a lot easier to, pl to plan around. I can no longer stand by. Let's try this. I wasn't really thinking of that Teferi with the trophy. I was thinking more of the... The big Teferi after a Wrath. You should leave. Oh, I need to iterate. Yours. No, I am not making this up as I go. I 
suppose that's how it was meant to happen. So they are a white source away. From having a wrath anyway. Hmm. Everyone is expendable. Just gonna decline for now. Our opponent's playing some cards. Couldn't tell you too much about their deck besides that. They got some cards. We got blue white control. Its pain is our gain. Very classic strat. Hey, what's up, Matthew? All right, so I'll change that stuff later, but we're going to do... Um, sub battle, stream, Saturday at 3 p.m. Justified. I kind of want to sack the two on Branch Walker, to be honest. I like my lands. Hmm. It's all islands. Budget mana base hurting our opponent. If they had a Cleansing Nova or a Time Wipe, anything like that. I know 88 ways to meditate and prepare. Uh, what's... I'm not sure what that card is, Matthew. Bag of Holding. We were kind of talking about this earlier, but I have, you know, I've been looking at the cards for Corset 2020 and everything, and, and, uh, so they're gonna gain three life, they'll go to 10. So we'll put them to five. My mind needs a rest. But I haven't been like, particularly like, really like processing them or like, it's lost. Uh, brewing around any of them or anything like that yet. You know, I'm still, Still got this standard format that that we're playing right now, but that's what Friday's for. So Friday. Uh, sure, I'll take a branch walker. We'll be doing our review with all the, the set and everything and starting it two hours early. As you can see here, I'm gonna be starting the core set review at one o'clock. So we have some more time to talk about all the new cards. A Padres uniform. The Friars. Boom. It's not bad. I wouldn't play more than one bag of holding, but maybe maybe the first one could fit into the deck. All right, so we're playing against a blue-white control deck. Let's bring our three Vivians, our three Duresses. We'll replace. Well, I'm going to uh, replace Field of Ruin with Blast Zone, as we saw they had just all basics. So we're going to do that. 
Um, I, I suppose Elder Spells would make sense, as we saw Narset, Sahili, Teferi. I suppose that card would make sense. Um, gonna take out Chupacabra. We did see them have enchantments, but I still don't really even want Bronted on that much. I'll play one Bronted on. Because we have Elders. We have Assassin's Trophy and Vivian. Yeah, we don't really need Bronted on here. And how many lands do I got? Twenty-five. Alright, I'm gonna cut the Paradise Druids. Cutting the Paradise Druids because I don't think we have to be overtly. I don't think we have to be like really, really fast or anything. And we're, you know, we're bringing in some cheaper cards as well, like Duress Elder Spell. But especially like Duress, maybe we use the early, earlier turns to interact with them there. And if they're playing Sweepers, which is very likely. Don't really want the two mana mana creature. Our mana base is good. I like this Foul Orchid. Orchard. However you pronounce that card. I don't feel like it's Orchard, Foul Orchard. That doesn't sound right. Probably Orchid. Orchard. Behold new wonders. Orchard. That sounds like somebody trying to read it lazily. That's an orchard. They just kind of like started like reading the word and then just kind of gave up halfway through. Hey, Kronos is going really good. Yeah, I've just I've heard that I've just heard the word pronounced a lot of different ways in general. So yeah, yeah, I know like the apple. I have been to multiple apple orchards or orchards or orchid. Orc hard. Maybe it's somebody that really likes. Uh, sorry, maybe it's somebody who really likes World of Warcraft and they're just trying to orc hard. But that's it. So I definitely think my opponent has a counter spell here, and I don't want the Vivian countered. So throwing the trophy out there. Hmm. I could still have another counter spell, unfortunately. Well, hopefully not. Well, that's unfortunate. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. All right, might as well draw a spell. Put thoughtfulness before action. And looks like looks like I'll be bringing in Brontodon after all.
you know, bring that back in after taking it out. Since we've seen the Silent Gravestone. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. I have practiced against many foes. Oh, I don't. I'm not sure. Um. Wise. Hone your prowess. Uh, Ooh. So yeah, just just started playing this one. I I mean, Sultai Dreadhorde is very good. So uh, nothing wrong at all with playing some Sultai Dreadhorde. I don't think it's really worth it for me to destroy the gravestone right now. Like I have to like these these four one ones are just gonna kind of kill me. I walk to the shadows for now. All right, so we have the four three jade light. I have just the trick for this. And remember, wise, the format's going to be kind of resetting a little bit next week, like next Tuesday. So I guess that's just a week from today. We're going to have M twenty available also. Our actions determine the course of doom. I'll make use of that later. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Hmm. Forgot about that Narset thing. <laughs> uh, this this game not so good for us. Okay, well, I'm pretty confident we're gonna get game three. Seeing more of our opponent's deck. We're going to have a better strategy for game three. Offensive. All right, more Bronson on. Man, our deck is honestly not that bad here. I don't know, maybe I don't need Bronson on. Maybe I just cut command. Nah, they're playing Karn. I should be playing Brontodon. Oh, sorry, Logos. I never pulled up Deckmaster today. Should be up any time now. 
And now should be up now. So if you need to re if you need to refresh, you may have to do that. Hey, calcium. Uh, playing these decks over here. Um, that's really unfortunate. That's unfortunate for our opponent. It's frustrating for them. Yeah, so we're going to have Finale of Zatalpa. It's a... Finale of Devastation deck with Zatalpa, which let me see if let me see if I can actually put it up on arena now. No. Um, maybe if, All right, where's some lands? All right, I should be able to get it now. I moved I moved the deck over to Goldfish, so we should be we should be good there. So I'll, I'll get it after this. We're good. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Arc Jelly. Set review is starting right when your work week does. Yeah, Candy Dude. Um, two ways to get to get more gold um, is in the uh, the traditional constructed queues that I'm playing here, or in the best of one queues. Also, um, if you have a smaller collection, the best of one, probably the best of one. Like unless you know, like that's that's a good way to get more gold fast uh you know you do have to be of course winning an okay amount but maybe you can put together a good best of one deck or um yeah this is for best two out of three i don't think there's you know so you do have to risk gold to win gold with these i don't think there's any other option to obtain gold besides just the uh, either between twelve hundred and fifty and fifteen hundred gold each day that you that you get from the daily quests. So another blue white control deck. Things are going really good, Jock. How are you doing? So as long as we keep... I may just want to hit the land drop, honestly. As long as we keep Under Realm Lich in play, we can't mill out. You know, this is... 
This is a mill deck here. We can't actually mill out as long as Underrealm Lich stays in play. So it's possible that I shouldn't even be attacking with Underrealm Lich because of, like, Seal Away. But, you know, obviously we don't know very much about our opponent's deck, whether they have Seal Away or not. Because the Lich getting exiled is the only way it's leaving. We get a backup Lich. We got the anti mill plan. Our opponents like you know playing this blue white mill deck. <clears throat> And they're all excited about their deck, and we're just like, oh, hey, by the way, we have, like, the anti-mill card. Like, the best anti-mill card in the format. I guess, you know, Nexus of Fate's also another one, but... Yeah. Sweeper won't really matter. Because you can make Underrealm Lich indestructible. So it would have to be an Exile Sweeper. So, like, Settle the Wreckage, for example. Um, Urza's Ruinous Blast would get it done. Correct, Hubba. Yeah, you don't actually draw a card with Underarm Lich. So, yeah, it gets around Narset. So that's not the first card that you draw a turn because you don't, yeah, you, well, you don't even just draw cards at all. So yeah, you can, you can, you know, quote unquote draw as many as you want because um, you don't actually draw any. So yeah, it gets around Narset. Jace is not a bad anti-mill card. That's a good one too. I forgot about that one. That's a pretty good anti-mill card. That's a good one. And yeah, Gaia's Blessing. Down to 13 cards in library. I kind of want to let my opponent mill me out. Uh. I wish they had like a mill 13 and so that they could get rid of my library. <laughs> yeah, they can see it at first. I don't think we need to gain any life. I mean, Chupacabra actually did something because of Nezahal. So I probably shouldn't be cutting all the Chupacabras, but oh well. Neza Hall. That's going to be the name of my moving company that I'm going to start. You moving cr cross country? 
Need to rent a truck? Go to Neza Hall. For all your hauling needs. I think we'll take down U-Haul. Boom. We're walking on branches. And we're merfolk. That's just crazy. Nope. Poor opponent. This is like the worst matchup they could have. I have so much like en enchantment removal in this deck. Between the trophies, the Bronzodons, the Vraskas, the Vivians. And I have the Underrealm Liches. It's just like... Uh, so, so bad for them. That result. Come to me. It is currently three fifty one right now. Alive or alive. I I always I always start streaming at three. I just put the at three because the M the M twenty set review we're gonna start early. Yeah, I'm Eastern. All right, no settle. You can't stop nature. Boo. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Scry three, draw three. It's a strong card. Kind of shows how good the cards in Standard are. That that card doesn't see any play. It's a good one. Hmm. Unfortunately, Nissa isn't attacking them for lethal. Meet my newest friend. Protect the virtue of this world. Oh, I meant to make a creature. I was just surprised that that resolved. And I was like, oh, what do I do now? Whoops. Maybe they're going to have the Behold, Cleansing Nova, and it'll work out that I didn't make a creature.
All right, we are two and O. Oh. So yeah, I'm five hours before GMT. Is where's GMT at? Because that's just a time zone that I've that I hear a lot and you know see a lot in, in different places. Yeah, Graft Digger's Cage reprint. My Grixis deck is definitely like Grixis control is definitely really happy for Graft Digger's Cage. Stop that stupid frenzy. Experimental Frenzy being like the main card holding back. Yeah, and Command the Dread Horde. Like both those cards are like cards that are really holding back Grixis control. Greenwich Mean Time for England. The Prime Meridian. Prime numbers are pretty cool. What's y'all's favorite prime number? Seventeen, it's a good one. Three. <laughs> Three hundred and seventy two thousand six hundred and eighty nine. Got a couple of people saying three, though. Two, zero, five, seven. I didn't say that. I like 17. That's a good prime number. 17's a good one. Honestly, I was thinking about, like, maybe I shouldn't be tapping out. Like, maybe I should just be going with Wild Growth Walker, hold up trophy. Bronted on. No, the lands are the lands are pretty good. Second reclamation. Maybe I should be sacrificing the branch walker there.
All right, dress. Vivian Reed, Blasson. I'm gonna take out Memorial to Folly for the Blasson. I definitely want Field of Ruin, still. That gets me at only 14 black. Hmm. Definitely, I'm, I'm expecting like Biogenic Ooze here. Maybe I just play 26 lands. We need to get to five lands. I'm just gonna play a 26 land. I guess Elder Spell does take out Tamio conveniently. Hmm. What would I play an Elder Spell over? I don't really see anything to play an Elder Spell over. Yeah, I guess it's just a forest. We'll just go, you know, go back to the twenty-five land. Stay at 25 land, and yeah, we'll get rid of a uh, green source. We'll just get rid of a forest, because we, we need the black sources. So five card hand. Let's get started quickly. I'll wait till they have like, yep, it has Kanta. So like the one, the, that's what I was gonna say is the one card that I would not have liked them to play would have been as Kanta. Alright, Tamio gone. We got a three turn clock here. Of course, I can blow up the Ascanta with the Bronze on, but that slows my clock considerably. Yeah, so far, I mean. Yeah, like, you know, we've only played just a couple of games, but we're playing against, like, these enchantment-heavy decks, and we have a lot of enchantments. Enchantment hate. Sorry, we have a lot of enchantment hate in our deck. And so I've been very happy with that. I don't know if we'll be able to, like, 
They haven't won this yet. So they have five cards. They can't flip as Kanta. All right, so I don't think I can sack Brontodon because I don't want to take two turns. Because if they just draw Reclamation and then just you'll play Reclamation, then you know, untap their lands inside. You know, they can they can do some stuff. Like if I would sacrifice the Brontodon. And then I would be able to attack for three. But then... Why aren't they kicking this? Like, what would be the reason not to kick this? They want to put a counter on Blast Zone. All right, so they did not draw Wilderness Reclamation last turn. So now we're looking good. The wild, no one knows the wilds like I do. Hey, hi Rev. Howdy. All right, we are three and O. Oh. Our opponents haven't been doing too much, to be honest, so far. We've been pretty fortunate there. We've we've been facing some Molda four, Molda five kind of stuff. We haven't had to do a ton to get these wins. But we've been getting it done. Alright, we'll have Sacrificial Wild Growth Walker. Ooh, not mono red. Still sacrificial mon wild growth walker though. Phoenix. So Chupacabra could kill a Drake where Golgari Queen can't. So I'll just play the Golgari Queen right now to eat up the Electromancer. Please no shock and opt. Oh no. Please no shock. Or any other spell. Gets the Phoenix. Ugh, yuck. Hey, Poner. Back to the shadows for now. Hey, Gatsby. Happy Tuesday. So for those of y'all just joining, as you can see here, we're going to start the uh, M20 set review early. So I'm going to do two hours earlier than normal, 1 o'clock Eastern, so that we have time to hopefully go through the whole set. You know, We'll be doing our long review of the core sets and talking about you know, like where we could fit the cards in and how it can brew around them and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to be in that discussion and... and um, you know, give your thoughts and everything. Make sure you join us for that on Friday. 
And then the next day on Saturday, I'll be doing the sub battle stream. And I'm going to be, I'll, I'll announce this, you know, on the discord channel and everything too, and kind of change the info panels, but I'm going to be doing the sub battle stream each and every last Saturday of the month. So every last Saturday of the month, that's when the sub battle stream will always be scheduled. We'll do it monthly. And then this, I'm going to, starting with M20, when M20 comes out on Tuesday, I'll be doing my normal 12 hour stream on the very first day of M20. And then also that day we'll reset like the, the sub goal count and I'll be doing it. The sub goals will be going towards 12 hour streams instead of going towards sub battle day. So whenever we hit every, every 20 sub goals, I'll, I'll be doing a 12 hour stream. Ral's outburst. All right. Putting the shock in the graveyard. Some they like some card better than shock. Um, I am Doom Waffle, and I do not know when it is. I don't know when the next mythic qualifier thing is. I no, Vincenzo, I'm not. I uh, do this every day. This is my full time job is streaming here. Oh yeah, definitely. Very very good job. I am Spanky, yes. Um, I don't have a hard ETA on when that'll happen, but yeah, I am still planning on that. So gonna get just get as much power and play as I can here because I feel like this is our last turn of the game. So grabbing the Jade Light, not gonna worry about Command the Dread Horde. And Command the Dread Horde is pretty risky against the deck with a lot of shocks and things like that. We'll see if they have a way to give this thing haste. Hopefully not. No velocity, no velocity, no velocity, please. If they have, if they just have one removal spell and like two spells plus a removal, like if they have three, three total spells to get back Phoenix and one of them's a removal spell. Well, that certainly does it. Hey Storm, good, good evening. I guess I should have kept this Command the Dread Horde because I could have got the Chupacabra. Do 
GG's. Using Dreadhorde and I think you should have used Dreadhorde to keep Chupacabra in hand. It's so risky to do that if I would have done that last turn because then two burn spells just kill me. Like going to six against the deck that's full of lightning strikes and shocks. No, I liked my play. I think the only thing is I think I should have just kept the command of the Dreadhorde on top with the Jade Light Ranger. I suppose. All right, Contempt and Duress are coming in. I guess Blast Zone's better than Field of Ruin. We don't really need Field of Ruin for anything. So we're... What five cards do we want? Do we not want? I mean, I guess I should be playing Vivian to kill the Drakes, even though it's, it's not very good against Phoenix, but it kills the Drakes. Um, Golgari Queen can go. All right, what's my last card? Another Underrealm Lich. Yeah. You know, Under Realm Lich, paying for life, like in this matchup, with Phoenixes and everything, is not something that I really want to be doing too much. So if I would have. Yeah, so you're saying, gosh, we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to shock here. Right, so you're saying that if I would have just done command the previous turn instead of Chupacabra, and, you know, so we ditch the Jade Light, so we get back Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light, paying five life, putting us down to five, but then gaining six life, going back up to 11. They still have the Phoenix there. So on their turn, we're basically at eight, because they already have the Phoenix there. So if they, um, you're a little late. So if they have, uh, you know, just eight points of bur burn, we're dead, which is certainly possible. Just, you know, like getting an, another Phoenix and a lightning strike. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, my play didn't work out for exactly what they had, you know, with them having like that crackling drake and everything. That play would have worked better because my line didn't work out at all. I liked I liked where my line put uh, put us though. Just didn't work out. I think the the scrying with the jade light I should have kept command on top because that's just a, a good option. It's not like I had to draw that card. Anyway, because of because of Underrealm Lich, so that's the thing that I regret. There. Every balance comes. Craft something special for you. Uh, Sahili's going to go crazy. Ooh. 
no other spell. The wilds are my shield. That's very good for us. Yeah, how do you like it, opponent? Phoenix is coming back from the graveyard and attacking you. It's not not cool. Not cool. <laughs> Wild Growth Walker being at five loyalty. I mean, this is... Like that was inc that was just really really fortunate for us that they didn't have like a shock. If they just if they had a shock. Our Landwolf was dead. The Phoenix is back, attacking us. We don't have the mana for Command the Dread Horde. We'd be you know it's just such a such a different game if they had a shock there. But they didn't. All right. Well, they get their Phoenix back. Card's really cool. Scars are lessons written in skin. I've seen things that would break someone like you. And suddenly we have a million life. And opponent scoops it up. All right, so with Sahili, I should be playing Golgari Queen, I feel like. I'm going to cut the Underrealm Lich, play a Golgari Queen, and... Maybe a Nyssa? Yeah, I'm going to cut one of the Nyssas for the other Golgari Queen. Don't do it, don't do it. No Electromancer. Yay. Hey, Orny. So, hope you had a great evening so far. What's your favorite list for Boros Feather? Um, I honestly don't have a, a favorite list for Boros Feather, to be honest. I don't, I've actually, I don't think I've ever played just Boros Feather. I don't think I have. I have the Naya Feather that I also call Naya Hero. That I made and, and I've played that one uh, quite a bit. But I don't have just a specific Boros list that I like or play too much of. Two Phoenix. Why'd they have to have the second Phoenix? You 
You're welcome, Arnie. You've never seen anything like this. Defeat for now. That means the other Phoenix is definitely coming back. M20 comes out on Arena on uh, a week from today, next Tuesday. Not looking good. You just I only have two Command the Dread Hordes in my deck right now. So having them both. And there's dead cards. We don't have anything in our graveyard. Looks like my opponent hasn't had hasn't had very many instant sorceries. I was gonna be saying. Oh, I guess I could. I should have just been using the command just to grab their phoenix back, shouldn't I? Gosh, another one. Yuck. So they would just beacon bolt it back, as we see there. Wow. Our opponent didn't grab the Phoenix's back. They must have counter magic that they really want to be keeping up right now. Because they could just beacon bolt their own creature to get the two Phoenixes. Four, eight, thirteen. Yeah, so they're just holding up the counter magic. Heal is going to kill us, though. We don't have any sweepers in our 75 at all. So we're pretty dead. We need Wild Growth Walker plus Explore Creatures to be able to gain life and get like a, a roadblock on the ground. But, you know, we only get one draw step a turn, so that's going to be tough. Hey, Shekel. Thanks. And that's game. A fourth Phoenix? Thanks. We we contempted one. I got them all. They could have minus two'd the Sahili to kill us, but uh, they just have a strike. Oh, no, they couldn't. No, they couldn't, because the Phoenix has come back after main. Sorry, they couldn't do that. All right, three and one.
Yeah, we're doing good, doing good. Still in it. Hey, doing good today, Zerf. Hope you're doing well. Have you started the new job yet? We'll go graveyard. Today was day two. How's it going with it? All right, looks like we got some jank over here. Simic Ascendancy. So far, I'm enjoying it more, much more than the previous roll, and the people are great. Awesome. You happy to hear that? Oh, I just attacked for one and then did that. Yeah, guess I could have attacked for two. I'm just so used to playing things like a main. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Hey, Nimbus Maze. Attack. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh, awesome. Got the day off. Congratulations. We are not destroying any Underrealm Witches over here. And I'll take this one. Now we're going. Underrealm Lich. Dig in for us, helping us find Jade Light Ranger. Thank you. We need to move quickly. What are they going to have instant speed here? They're going to have seal away an elf. There's no shelf for that elf. Or is it? Is that a shelf? That looks like a shelf. So I'm at 23, so that's 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11. This isn't a fight you can win. This I bounce the land where else they don't have a blocker. Idea. I'll take another command. It's only a matter of time. All right, Underrealm Lich, doing its job, helping us dig for Command the Dreadhorde while filling our graveyard. So we know that they're playing Teferi, Teferi, Cleansing Nova, Simic Ascendancy, and Llanowar Elf. Hmm. So 
So I guess I'm just kind of doing the same sideboard I have been doing. I don't know. I want Wild Growth Walker here, yes. There's there's honestly nothing here that I look at and like, oh, I don't want that card. These are honestly all good. Hmm. We got other ways to kill enchantments. I'll take out Bronte and the Druid and one Choop, one Lich, one Nissa for bringing in the Vivians. Let's play two Elder Spells. I don't know. I was cutting like a lot of cards that can be good, but we just got to cut stuff. Too many good cards. Got a mulligan. Too many good cards in a hand. That would be unfair. So let's get this hand. See, not, not as many good cards, so we'll keep it. It's more fair. Double Paradise Druid. All right, well, we'll just play a 1-3. 1-3 should be able to roadblock a couple Paradise Druids. Honestly, maybe attacking there wouldn't have been the worst, trading a wild growth for two druids. So is their last card a counter spell? Yay, it's not. All right, find more explore features of the end. No one knows the Just like it's 2019. We got Golgari mid-range here. Yeah, they have so much ramp. Nothing to play. Balance of course, you do want to tick up Vivian first before playing... Uh, your explorer creature because you don't want to just like set the top of your library to be something that you really want to draw and then um and then afterwards tick up and get rid of it you know like if it's like a command the dread horde or whatever all right we got other blockers so let's be attacking with the branch walker again now we got other blockers for the vivian Yeah, good. Meet my Glad there's no crisis. Yeah, we're going to be doing a full set review like last time. So I'm starting it two hours early. Give ourselves give ourselves a little bit more time. We have just like we've done with Guilds of Ravnica and War of the Spark, we'll be doing full set review for Core 2020, talking about 
talking through all the cards, uh, maybe how to how to build with them, how to brew with them, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, they found the Krasis. They found the Krasis. Nothing stands before nature. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh, yeah, right here. We're doing it Friday. All right, four and one. Time to get to that final boss playlist. And right now we get this little amount of gold. And if we win, we get all of this gold. You know, this is 1,700. This is 2,100. And obviously we know 2,100 is this much more than 1,700. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah, just doing some quick math, but that seems like that checks out. <laughs> Gonna have the gold gari. And 500 was was two of those little gold gold things. The coins. It was two gold coins was 500. And then like 30 gold coins is 2100. Yeah, yeah, that's how I taught math. Diagrams like that. We got Esper Control for the final boss. Sure do. Gonna let me explore again. Sweet. I didn't have anything I wanted to do next turn anyway. And the second stack of gold is made out of nickels. There we go. Here we go. Uh, it all makes sense now. So they kept that card on top very quickly. I protect that which cannot protect itself. So we're going to see if they want to go get it a land or if they want to keep that card on top. All right, so that card's gone. Beware. 
wary of the ground you walk on. I really should have seen that coming. Oh, looks like they just had a command in hand. Tag Force with that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Tag Force. Thanks for that sub there. It's our fifth sub of the day. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I appreciate that support there. I'll protect you. I suppose I should have just attacked them for six. I was hoping they were going to be too scared to actually pay the four life. Yeah, Hostage Taker can take a land. Like, it can take a forest, yeah. You can't, you can't cast a forest, though, so it just stays exiled for as long as the Hostage Taker remains exiled. Prime sub here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support. I appreciate that. Sub number six on the day. Thank you very much. Man, the Dread Horde's a heck of a card. Don't worry, I got this. I am ancient and wise. Heed my advice. I Who must be I can create or destroy. Mm. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, we're still very dead here. Kind of want to put it to the graveyard, though, so that I could try to draw a land and then, like, you know, with, with land be able to... Like, I need one more land to be able to find Command the Dread Horde. I can no longer stand by and watch. Ether itself serves. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. You know what? I'm not done yet. So they did not get rid of my Underrealm Lich. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Keep an open mind. Not hit a land anyway. <clears throat> That's a totally fair thing. Thought erasure during draw step, totally fair. That's balanced. Alright, so they're gonna lose all their creatures. We'll lose our Paradise Druid, but they get to draw a card also, of course. Bleh. I don't have any Elder Spells main deck. No time for a break. Truth lies beyond vision. All right, so I guess I just need to. Trust me, I have a plan. I need just to take land, then land. I guess I should have attacked with the Paradise Druid and let it die. Hey, Dink. Yeah, thank you, Yud. Secrets manifest before. Let's try this. All 
right, we'll have our duresses in, our elder spells, our contempts, our vivians, all of those things. I don't want Bronted on. I don't want. Hmm. These hostage takers are really rude. This is 63. Can I play 12 cards that cost 5 or more? Basically, Wild Growth Walker just gains my life back with Command, but besides that, it's really not good. Between the bouncing with Teferi, the Hostage Takers, it's just, it's not a good card here, For but the only reason why it's, it's kind of good is with Command the Dread Horde. Now this is like the matchup for Trophy, like with all their, with the expensive Planeswalkers, this is a great matchup for Trophy. Jeez. Well, I guess we have a Branch Walker, I suppose. Field of Ruin can get a white source, or sorry, get a black source. So Golgari Queen will kill Hero, but then the token will kill the Golgari Queen. But they didn't play a land. That's certainly good for us. Dang. Well now here's either Narset or Teferi. Excellent timing. I've got it. Let's see if you're worthy. All right, we're not doing so bad. Don't worry. These commands you. are good. They have seven cards, though. Seven scary cards. Ooh. Now we're getting started. So it costs eight life to get the three things in the graveyard right now. Come to me. Oh yeah, there's a land war elf. Forgot about that. Sweet. All right. Nine life. Your demise won't be quick or quiet. Pity we couldn't have been allies. 
Don't want them getting free 1-1s. One I know their Teferi can bounce the hero, but that's all right. Hey, Bailey. Uh, good luck. Yeah, that's true. I would be able to sacrifice the hero. That's a good point. This might be a bad idea. You can't stop nature. ends justify the means. Oh, we're four and one, sorry. I was doing other things. I didn't update this. Yeah, we got our final boss playlist playing right now. We're four and one. I'll protect you. Sorry, my bad, my bad. The wilds are my shield. Gosh, we cannot find explore creatures at all. Ugh. So we have nine mana right now. As long as we win, nothing else matters. What a strange and magnificent world. Sweet. I wasn't I wasn't planning on trying to kill myself with, with the Dread Horde. I wasn't gonna try. Just gonna hopefully avoid killing myself with Dread Horde. Hmm. All right, game three. Yeah, I've had like, it's probably happened like four or five times I've played against opponents that have just 
like whatever their life total is, that's how much they'll dread horde for, and they just die. And you know, like they'll be at like twenty, twenty one, or twenty two, or something like that. You know, or you know, thirteen, or you know, anything like that. And they'll just command the dread horde for like exactly enough to kill themselves. And it's just, it's surprising how much people do that. Uh, I guess so, Terramorphous. This is a donation deck. I didn't put this deck together. I don't... I don't know... Exact answer there. But yeah, you have, you, you have like, a lot... You didn't, you're not uh, hurting yourself from your mana base, you know... Without the three colors. I think the three color version is, is more powerful than our deck. Overall, Tamiyo is incredible. Of course, and... And, you know, Crace is very good, too. You can Let's find the our down. final Hold boss playlist box. here. Without two Ps, I guess. Sorry. Oh my gosh, whatever, I give up. Thanks, Bauer. You got it. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land shall conquer you. Typing's hard. Taking the Chupacabra. I am. Its loss will serve us. The land fights for us. Hey, Matu. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Well, getting my land bounced is not nearly as bad as the land dying. I've got time.
So I, I could have... So going for Nissa ultimate, which is safer. I could have gone for uh, the Vraska ultimate and one here by killing my Nissa also and going for death touch. So like if their card is a complete blink, that could have happened. But if they just have like a, if they just have, you know, Tyrant Scorn or something, you know, any kind of like removal or anything, then we could get, you know, we'd be really punished and everything. Um... So I'm just playing it safer, just killing theirs, not killing my... Oh, I guess I could sacrifice a land and draw a card, I suppose. I guess I have enough lands now. Sorry, I was I was talking. So just going safer and ultimating Nyssa. And getting, you know, 12 cards out of our deck and making this land at least indestructible. I guess I could have sacrificed one of the other lands to the Raska though, and drawn a card. Looks like we would have drawn Jade Jade Light. Sacrifices must Alright, Outer Realm Lich is good, because now we get to do the look at three. And we'll take the Vivian. Wild and meet my newest friend. Behold, nature's true power. I think we got this. And we do. GG's. All right, good match there. And we got the five win set. Let's get all of this gold. Yeah, see, two coins is 500. But if you have, like, 40 coins, you get 2,100. <laughs> Not a very good coin ratio there. Not a very true aspect. But that's all right. <laughs> uh, it's all good, Korean. It's all good. All right, so yeah, our deck uh, performed pretty well. Our first couple matches were quite easy. We played against uh, a couple. We played against like two blue-white control brews that were really built around enchantments, and we just have so much enchantment removal in this deck. And then we played against Nexus, and again, we have so much enchantment removal. Um, so that kind of stuff was was really helping us here. Hey, yeah, Bailey, good games there. Yeah, good games. Nice match. Um, so, with this deck, I feel like we should be playing some four ofs of some of these cards. You know, they, they do allow you to play four of a card, not just three. And I think that we should have a fourth Wild Growth Walker, a fourth Branch Walker, and a fourth Jade Light Ranger. I don't think that we need the Brontodons in the main deck. I think those could go to the sideboard to just be the other those other cards there i wasn't as impressed with the nissa but i loved the vivian but yeah i would i would kind of just move these bronzedons to the sideboard um i don't think this deck really needs the blast zone in the sideboard so i, I would take out the blast zone and then probably one of the chupacabras And maybe just maybe just that 
that's it. Maybe just two Brontodons then, because the Vivians destroy enchantments and everything too. So you don't really need that many Brontodons. Um, Underrealm Lich was really good for us. Yeah. Um, so just kind of showing what I'm talking about here. Let me put this in here. So if we add another, another, another of all of those. May move two Brontodons over there for the Choop and the Blast Zone. Yeah, that's a small little change that I think would be kind of an upgrade. You know, when we're playing Command the Dread Horde and everything, we want all of the possible Explore creatures. You really do. So I think getting all those in here would be good. Um, yeah, that could be a different kind of Dread, Dread Horde deck, a Stitcher Supplier, Glow Spore Shaman kind of thing to help self mill yourself. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, of course that'd be close to good because of how powerful Command the Dreadhorde is. Yeah, when you're playing a card that powerful. Yeah, that could be. That could work. Also. But Golgari Queen was good. Underrealm Lich was very good. Nissa didn't do a ton. It won that last game for us, though. It did a little bit, but uh, it wasn't amazing. But there we go. That's our. That's our uh, Golgari Dreadhorde deck here. So, cool deck. So, thank you so much. For the donation deck here, J. Jack Jr. went very well. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I got here. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Golgari Dread Dreadhorde, and I will see you for another video.